Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we'll be cleaning agates in muriatic acid. Um, so what you're going to need is two containers like this right here. I have two milk jugs with just the top off of them. It doesn't really matter what it is, just I recommend something that you can throw away afterwards. Um, but you're going to fill each of these about halfway with water. One's for the acid and then the other is for the baking soda. Um, to neutralize the acid on the rocks after you are done. Um, and of course you're going to need some safety equipment, some rubber gloves to be good, and obviously eye protection is very helpful. And just wear some old clothes that you don't really care about that much in case you do splash some acid. But um, we're going to go ahead and take a look at what we're dealing with here. So, Alright, so here's the rocks that we will be doing today. Um, they're all agates. We got a couple of pretty good sized ones here. Um, this one just has a little bit of kind of that concrete stuff there. And this one has a whole bunch all over the banded part. So I'm really excited to get these ones cleaned up to see what they look like. But we got a whole selection here. Um, so let's go ahead and get them cleaned up and see how it goes. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some acid. Um, Kind of just and an important thing to remember is to always add acid or AAA rule. Um, that's just you want to have the water in there first and then add the acid later just in case you splash. It's not acid splash, splashing out, it's the water. So we're going to go ahead and put some in here. See it's starting to fizz up on that bottom there where there was that concrete. Yeah, you can see that fizzing going on there. So we're going to go ahead and keep adding more in here and give it a couple hours and come back and see what it looks like. Okay, so it's been oh, about an hour. You can see that the acid has stopped bubbling. So pretty much done by now. I went ahead and added some baking soda to this water. Um, you can see it at the bottom there. That'll neutralize the acid but so here's that here's that one. That one cleaned up really nice. We'll show you more later. We'll start moving these over here. Another one. Yep. Okay, so I went ahead and took some of the best ones and uh, put them all together. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of them. So we'll start with this big one right here. It's kind of just big quartzy thing, but it's got some kind of cool bands going on in there. This one right here, this whole face was covered up. It's got some amethyst in the middle right here. It's really cool. Awesome. This one's got some eyes on it. You can see him right in there. Pretty nice bands. This one's got some really nice ones. This one's kind of interesting. It's a little weird looking. This one's really, really nice. I opened up this back here that was kind of covered up. Weren't able to see those bands there before, so 
That's really cool. This guy almost looks like fire. That's really pretty. Got a water level one right there. It's a little tiny guy. Really, really nice bands. This one's my favorite right here. I was most excited for this one. Right here, all this part there was covered up before, so we were able to open all of that up. Really, really nice I like it. It's got a little bit of peeling there, but that's beautiful. This one also has really nice bands. Really, really pretty. This one has um, really tight bands right there. I really like that. This one's a big pink one. Pink and purple. Really, really beautiful. Camera doesn't like to focus sometimes. This one's got some amethyst in the middle. Nice bands on the back there. This one has like some black quartz going around it. Never seen that before. It's really kind of cool, I think. And here's the last one. Got some really, really cool bands going on there. Well, there they are. Awesome.